Hey everybody, Dr. Tom Carr here, aka Dr. Stocks of drstocks.com, D R S T O X X.com, and drstockstrading.com. Just so you are familiar with our primary website, since 2002, I've been publishing uh, daily, weekly, and monthly stock pick letters along with uh, trading course manuals and webinars. I offer a private coaching service and a managed accounts service on our primary site, drstocks.com. And if you're not a, a free email subscriber, put your address here. You'll get my free re, uh, free report, uh, How to Make Big Money Trading Breakout Stocks. If you're not an active trader but still want to participate in the markets, then I would recommend our other uh, website, which is drstockstrading.com, D-R-S-T-O-X-X trading.com, where we offer our two most profitable letters. These come out just weekly. So Sunday night, you get the letter. Monday night, Monday morning, you put on your trades. Our hot stocks letter, if you like trading momentum, small cap stocks, and our penny stocks letter, which aims at cheap, very cheap turnaround candidates. And as you can see, the performance here quite quite good. I also uh, have a uh, Twitter feed if you're interested in uh, looking at several charts throughout the trading day. I alert my subscribers to what is moving in the markets. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter. Now, let's get back to our discussion of the MarketSmith tool. And today, in the second video of a three-part series, I'm going to be showing you how to build a scan to find the market's best initial public offerings, or IPOs. These are stocks that have been trading for less than one year, and they I've been, I've, I have designed the scan to find those that are financially sound, that have decent price momentum, have strong backing from analysts, and so on. Now let's let's take a look at how you build a scan in MarketSmith. You would click on this uh, left tab over here and that opens up the scanning tool. In the first video I showed you how to build a growth stock scan. Now I'm going to take you inside my top IPO scan. Let's open up the editor and I'll show you what I have in here. Now first of all I want to isolate only stocks that have been trading for less than one year. So when you click on this filter, the IPO date, you can set the uh, year uh, to whatever you want, and um, you can even go down into the month or the day if you want. But I just said, I want all stocks that show up on my scan to be, uh, to, to have their IPO launch sometime after January of 2018. Then secondly, I wanted to get, I wanted to make sure that these are companies that have uh, better than average earnings growth histories. And the easiest way to do that in the MarketSmith tool is to simply type a number here in the minimum box of the EPS rating. Now this is a proprietary rating that is published by Investors Business Daily on every publicly traded company. It runs on a scale from one to 100 and the numbers at the upper edge of that scale indicate stocks with very strong historical growth, very strong recent growth in the most recent quarter, and strong, historic, uh, strong um, earnings projections. All those numbers crunch together, giving a good uh, solid rating, and we want something above 50. So we're gonna put 50 there in our minimum box. And then the next thing I have on the list is the relative strength. Rating. I want to make sure that these are stocks that are being bought by the market, actively bought by the market. And so I'm going to put 80 in my minimum box here, which puts the IPOs that I'm looking at in the top 20% of all stocks currently trading. So these are stocks with a strong, from, from the day of their launch until today, these are strong uh, stocks, stocks in an uptrend. Thirdly, I want an SMR rating of either A, B, or C. Now, this is a well, this is my favorite filter of all of the uh, MarketSmith scans that I've built over the years, and it's one that uh, I rely heavily on. I put it in every scan that I build. 
SMR stands for Sales, Margins, and Return on Equity. And IBD takes those three things, sales growth, the increase and in steadiness of margins, uh, you know, operating margin, profit margin, if there is any, and the return on equity, which is a function of how efficient management is in uh, using their assets, that uh, runs together into a proprietary formula that then spits out a rating um, on a scale of A to E, A being best, E being worst, and I want to make sure I, I'm not isolating any stocks that are rated either D or E. So we want to see some good sales. We want to see uh, wide margins and efficient management, which gives the companies we're looking at a kind of a moat, you know, to use Ben Graham's term. Then uh, lastly, I want an overall comp rating of 85 or better. So I'm going to put 85 in my minimum box here. And that means on a scale of 1 to 100, we're in the top 15% of all stocks publicly traded based on a composition rating of, uh, of IBD. So IBD takes all of the various components that they look at and crunches those numbers and spits out a single number that ranks all stocks on a scale of 1 to 100. Now you will find stocks up around you know the upper 90s. Those are even better. But I want to make sure I have at least uh, and 85 in the comp rating for all the IPOs I'm looking at. Now, those, fil those are the only fil uh, filters I have in my scan. And when we run our scan, we end up with 10 stocks. So let's view those screen results and see what we've got. Um, we've got uh, Arco Platform at the top of the list. Now this is um, just alphabetical order. So what I usually like to do is I come over here to the comp rating column and I'll click on that to make sure that the stocks at the top of my list have the highest comp rating. And you can see that these go down to, well, there are a couple of stocks that aren't showing up because they're down below the, the fold of my monitor, um, but they'll go down to about 90 or so. At the top of the list is PAGS. Let's take a look at that uh, chart. Double click, and here we go. This is a, a chart that looks like it was um, in a very wide ranging um, cup here with a nice little handle that Market Smith identified a breakout pivot of around 3165. It broke out on that a couple of weeks ago, retested a little bit along, you know, the market was dipping a bit, I think it was dipping at that point, and just took off from there. It's actually getting now close to the profit area that Market Smith identifies. So every time you it identifies a, a chart pattern, a breakout pivot. Once it breaks out to the upside of that pivot, the MarketSmith software will give you a buy range, which is this bluish box here, a stop loss range, which is the pinkish box down here, and then a green profit range, which is usually about 20% above the breakout pivot. So this is a very nice looking chart, but it's not one that we would want to chase because this thrust out of the cup and handle pattern is already fairly mature and nearing its profit target. So it's one we would put on hold. Uh, DAVA um, already hit its profit target. So if we had latched onto this a few weeks ago at a price of around 31.54 on the breakout, we would be taking our profits up here around 39 not a bad trade at all. Uh, PLMR is one that I own a small position of because it uh, uh, set up a nice little higher low base, broke out of its IPO um, base price, and went on very sharply to print new all-time highs. Now, I bought in this little consolidation area down here in anticipation of another leg up, but um, it hasn't done that yet. We're still waiting on that one. Uh, TW is another one that I, I did own, but I got stopped out today on this sharp shakeout of weak hands, and I'm afraid I was a weak-handed investor today because it shook me out. Uh, but it's still a very good company. You can see it's very highly rated, 97 comp. It's at A plus for accumulation distribution, which means it's under strong accumulation. As an SMR of A, can't get any better than that. The group 
relative strength rating. So the sector that it's in is at an A, can't get any better than that. It has an EPS of 51, so that's a little bit low, but this is an uh, up and coming growing company in the financial services sector. And it's one I've got my eye on for a longer term investment. Zoom video is one that uh, we did profit very nicely from. And I'll tell you why. It put in a new all time IPO high at around 91.46, and then it pulled back under 80 and built what I what uh, IBD likes to call an IPO base. An IPO base is after it sets a new all time high, it doesn't matter how close it is to the actual IPO itself, as long as it's a new IPO high. Once it pulls back and forms a base, then MarketSmith starts to put in this lower support line and a pivot breakout line. And anywhere in this area between those two lines, the solid green support, the broken green resistance is an area that I like to begin to accumulate small positions in. So I bought a small position, a starter position under 80, and then it broke out on a breakaway gap very sharply. And I, I only had a small position on, so I didn't profit as much as I could have. Um, but I'm looking at buying uh, an additional plot of shares once I see this um, area up here above that green line hold and consolidate a bit. It's a little bit extended right now, so I'm just, I've just got it on hold, but I've got a nice profit already. Um, and this was uh, PSN is one that I bought uh, a couple of days ago and added to today. It is a company that's been around since 1944. I know it quite well because it's headquartered in a town very close to us here and know some people that work there. And it has its hand in all kinds of cool uh, technology sectors. It does cybersecurity. It does cloud-based software for defense contractors. It, it does a variety of other things, and it is um, not quite yet profitable, but it's almost there. And it's had a, a very strong history of being profitable. Um, it's just signed on a new government contract, so it's in very good shape to get back into profitability. And again, just like I said before, once it hits an IPO high, you'll see this green broken line be, uh, get drawn in. And then after it, it begins to build a base, you'll see MarketSmith put in the solid green line at an area of support. And anything between these two lines, in my opinion, is a good place to start a starter position, which is what I have on now, in shares of, of the IPO in expectation of a breakout to the upside. Once it does break out to the upside, then that's where you want to add to your position and monitor the stop loss area and the profit taking area that MarketSmith will alert you to. All right, folks, that's all that we're going to talk about today. God bless everyone, and we'll see you on the trading floor. Bye now.